Okay, so we are going to go ahead and we are going to do lesson 19, linking pages. And I'm pretty much going to walk you through this, so I might cut this into a couple 10-minute little videos. Um, what we're going to talk about is we're going to eventually, you've got your websites. We're going to be breaking them into chunks. And then what we need to do is, as you know, when you go to a website, you click on a link and it takes you to another page and then you can go back or you can go to another page. And so websites are actually just made up of a whole bunch of different web pages linked together. So we're going to talk about that today. And they're going to throw in some new code here. And this is going to be what we're going to, we're going to use for our linking. So we'll see how that looks here as we go. So what I would like for you to do is if you could put this video in a window and then have your um, code.org opened and follow along with me so that you can do this. I'm probably going to look to make sure you did it right and give you some credit even though I'm going to probably do most of the work for you. All right, so a website should include more than one web page just like I was mentioning and they should connect to each other. Here's an example of a multi of a project with a multi pages that are connected by hyperlinks. Okay, so you guys all know what hyperlinks are. Hyperlinks take you a lot of time to a web page. Well, the way that hyperlinks work in some websites is they actually take you from the home page to a different page. So it's still considered a hyperlink, but it's not necessarily taking us to a new website. It's just taking us to a new page in the website that we're doing. Um, use the inspector tool to see the code that creates the hyperlinks. All right, and uh, so they're going to kind of be talking about some partner stuff because this was originally set up to be done with partners, but I'm having you guys do it individually. Um, so what I want to do is, is I'm pointing to home right here. That's our first hyperlink, and this is the home page. The index page is the home page, but you'll notice over here is index.html. So there's our link, and then you'll notice in that they have home. So here's home this is the text that shows up but it's actually hyperlinked to the index page so let's just look at the fun facts so they just rather than calling it fun facts they just called it facts and then the fun facts is what shows up so fun facts shows up over here and if I click on that it's taking me to the fun facts page so fun facts about mosquitoes and then it goes ahead it goes down here and um, gives me the facts. And then you'll notice that they did their attribute like this and um, for the picture that's up here. And they went ahead and went down. This work is licensed. So they're at giving at, um, their attribute to their text and to their picture. And we haven't really talked about our text and we may not do that. All right. And so then why do we need them? All right. You'll notice over here, they just have need. They don't have all of that. You don't have to put. And the way that these are coming about is over here, anytime you see an HTML, that's a new page. So this is the facts page. So facts HTML. Um, need HTML. And then you can put what you want to show up as the text, all right? And so bite remedies, I click on that, takes me to the remedies for biting. And um, again, they just use short names over here. Um, and then this is what shows up, all right? So we kind of looked around. It just said to look and see how that works. So we did that, so I'm gonna hit finish. Alright, so now what we're going to do is said so this page is almost working, but one of the pages is not linked. Um, look at the working links and see how they work. And then we need to add the code that's going to link the index page um, to the Charles Bridge page and then vice versa. Alright, so they've got all of our information over here. And they've got Golden Gate Bridge, they've got Tower Bridge, and they've got the golden bridge, all right? And what we need to do is we need to add in the Charles Bridge, all right? So it says, look at the working links and see how they work. Add a code that will link from the index page to the Charles Bridge page, all right? So they don't have a Charles Bridge page over here, but over here I can see that they actually do have a Charles Bridge page. So we've got to try to get to that page. 
All right, so I'm going to go back to the index page. The index page is pretty much always called the home page. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And they're using the break. So this just puts in a space. So we can just do that. And then I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in A. Okay. Then I'm going to do href. And here's the thing, you guys. You can look. They've done it for you. So you can just copy that up there. So I'm going to hit the equal sign. And then I'm going to do a quotations. And now, what page do we want to link? Well, it told us that we wanted the Charles Bridge page. So I'm going to point. So you don't even have to worry about typing this or anything like that. I'm going to click on the HTML. I don't want to do the image. Right now, I'm. this is the page, the actual page that we want to go to. And then I'm going to do the... Um, I guess greater than sign. All right, now what text do we want? Well, if we look at what they've used, let's stay consistent with that. And they've got Golden Gate Bridge, London Tower Bridge, and the Golden Bridge. So we need the Charles Bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Charles Bridge. Okay, and then once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do, I'm going to close up my link okay and this should look familiar so now I just close that up and you'll notice we didn't even have to type anything over here all we had to do was put in our link give it a name so Charles Bridge showed up but now if we did it right it should link to the Charles Bridge page so we didn't even have to type anything over here so I'm gonna hit Charles Bridge boom it takes us to Charles Bridge all right so how do we get back? Well, let's just, for the heck of it, let's go back to our index page and let's click on the Golden Gate Bridge. So they have the Golden Gate Bridge and they have Go Back right there. All right, they have Go Back. Um, so if you notice, right here they have Index, HTML, Go Back. All right, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. So guess what? I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to copy it, Command C. Then I'm going to go back to my, um, my uh, Charles Bridge HTML. And I'm just going to go back because I want to look one real quick. So they put that right above the image. So I'm going to go up here to my, and I'm going to just hit right here. I'm going to hit Enter and I'm going to hit Command V. And now I didn't have to type anything in over here because it's going to be go back to your index page. We're telling it we want it to hyperlink to the um, index page. So now if I click on that, there we go. So your index page is your home page. That's your main page. And then these are all the HTMLs are the other pages that you want. So now we could click on these and then we can scroll down and go back. Okay, and so we just did the Charles Bridge, and then um, if we scroll down, we can go back. All right, so that's what you're going to be doing. So you can do a lot of copying and pasting in, in some of these instances. All right, so I'm going to hit finish. I'm going to do one more thing here. So it says, just like images and files, links should have clear names that help someone understand what page they are linked to. Read the code and click on the links to see where they go. Change the names of the links to make it clear where they will take you. All right, so we've talked about that. Notice they have really short, good names over here. All right, but over here, not so much. So if we look at learn more, I can turn the inspector on. If I go to learn more, notice how it says, Roses. A rose might be the most famous type of flower, and even Shakespeare wrote about it. Learn more. Well, rather than having learn more right there, maybe we could just hit roses since we want to type in roses since we want to go to the roses page, maybe. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that out, and I'm just going to type in roses. And now that looks better. I'm going to the roses page and there I am. And they've already got our back home. 
okay? So let's look at daisy.html. So what they did down here is they put in their link and they just kept the name of their um, of their page, daisy.html. So we don't really want the HTML. So what I'm just going to do is we can just use daisy. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stay consistent and I'm going to make this a capital D. So there's Daisy. So now we've got roses and and then we've and actually I can get rid of those um, uh, parentheses. You don't think you need the parentheses. All right. So I've got roses. I've got Daisy. And if I wanted to, I could get rid of that period. And then we have one more we've got this whole thing click here to learn more well if we want to be consistent with what we we're doing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna delete all of that and I'm just gonna type in sunflower just to be consistent with what we wanted so we're talking about flowers we're talking about roses so let's click on the roses link I'm talking about daisies Let's click on the daisy link and we're talking about sunflower. All right, so you're going to want to make sure that you're using names that are simple. So that's the rule for your HTML and it's also the rule for your um, images. All right, you want to have short, simple names so that when you're typing this stuff in, you're not typing in a lot of long different things. Okay, I don't know why this is highlighted right there I don't know if there's something wrong with it but everything seems to be working oh I know why okay I'm gonna shut the inspector off all right and so I'm gonna go ahead and you guys should be through lesson four